It's eight o'clock and all's well. It's eight o'clock and all's well. There's Ben Franklin, back from his trip to England. Yo, Ben, what'd you say to the king about his recent taxation? Are there any hard feelings between the king and the colonies at the present? Breaking up is hard to do. You were in France, Ben. What seems to be the feeling there? Hey, how do you like the new flag Betsy Ross made? She's one hell of a woman. What does Betsy do for a living? Seems just for the bang. Hey, there's Francis Scott Key. Say, Francis, just what are you doing for the revolution? I write the songs. Here comes General Washington with his friends Thomas Jefferson, John Hancock, and General Pulaski. Say, General Washington, do you have any political aspirations after the declaration is signed? I'd kinda like to be the president. General Washington, just what is this declaration of independence all about? Well, who is it for? It's for you, it's for you. General Washington, I heard that Benedict Arnold was in cahoots with the Redcoats. Do you have anything to say to him? No good, you're no good, you're no good. Thomas Jefferson, when did you get the idea for the Declaration of Independence? Late December back in 63. When do you expect it to be signed? One of these nights. Any particular one? On Saturday night. Saturday night. Which one of you would like to be the first signer? I will, I will. Thanks, John Hancock. General Pulaski, how do you feel about the revolution? Well, here comes Paul Revere. Just call me the traveling man. What do you do, Paul? Wake up, everybody, no more sleeping in bed. Well, that's some job. And that reminds me, I've got to get back to mine. It's 8.02 and all's well. Philadelphia weather, clear and cool overnight.